So today we are going to be creating a holographic iridescent material. So someone in the comment section requested for this kind of material. So we are going to be tackling how we can create this kind of material. It's called a holographic iridescent material. Now this gives a kind of a foily with the iridescent look with a little bit of speckler in that iridescent. So we'll see how we can create that kind of material inside of Maya. It's a really simple and straightforward to do. So let's get into it. So I'm going to take a simple plane here. This will be our overall object for our material so i'm gonna just increase some subdivision maybe like 15 and 50 uh, and let's try to create some cloth out of it so i'm gonna go to my fx menu go to end cloth and create end cloth so if i play this this will fall so i'm gonna go to my nucleus and turn off the gravity this way i have a still cloth i'm gonna select my plane here and uh, let's go to fields installer and add some turbulence and let's hit play Alright, so we have some wrinkleness going on and um, it looks good. So I'm just gonna rotate my plane around here to something right about there. And let's see now. Okay, so I guess right about there is a good enough look. We have some wrinkles going on and so on. So we can use this. I guess I can play a bit more. Alright, so this is looking good. So I'm gonna take my camera just so we can have a still look to view with and let's go into our camera and i'm going to select my camera from here and let's pull this back i'm also going to change the overall resolution here to something like maybe a 1k resolution let's turn on the film gate and let's set our camera to something right about there and i think uh, this look is good i'm going to lock my camera here okay so let's go to the perspective view select our plane here and let's add a new material so the material is going to be a sand surface and let's call this HI for holographic iridescent and let's make the weight to one. So at this point we don't have any light in our scene so I'm just going to take a simple and basic HDR for the overall lighting purpose. Alright so I've taken a simple basic HDR material sorry HDR image for the overall lighting purpose so let's see what we have and we have a pretty bright seen as you can see so i'm just gonna go into my overall hdr here and uh, i'm just gonna decrease the overall intensity to maybe like 0.5 and we have something like this so let's decrease it even more to maybe like 0.1 i think this is looking good enough for now so let's start working with this so i'm gonna select my overall plane here i'm just gonna pause this and get into my camera okay so from here we'll get into our material and this is where the overall magic happens so here so the first thing uh, that we need for the overall holographic look is uh, the thin film and i've already created a video about how you can use a thin film uh, parameter to create a kind of a iridescent material whether you're using or creating something like a bubble shader so you can use this type of uh, thin film to create that kind of look so i'm just going to increase the value to something like Let's increase it to about 100 and from here you will start to slowly notice that you are getting a reticent look. Now you won't see anything and the reason is because from the base color what we have is a complete white which is not exactly what you want if you want that look. So I'm just going to make this a small between grey maybe like a 50% grey and just add a bit more metallic into this. So you don't want to make a complete metallic this way you get the overall iridescent look but as we saw in the image the overall the whole material is not iridescent only the specular part is. So I'm just going to make the overall metal to something like 0.5. So now you can see we have both of the overall material you can still get the base color which is a 50% grey and you're still getting a little bit of thin film here. So you can from here you can control the overall thickness and IOR the index of refraction overall. So I'm going to keep this to something like 1.4 you can also make this 1.7 totally depends on how powerful the overall look you are you're going for. So I'm going to keep it to let's keep it to 1.5 for now which is a default value and for the thickness I can go for something like maybe um something like a 240 or maybe like a 250 totally depends on you what kind of look you're going for and from here we we are actually 50 percent done here but we have to do something more to get that kind of look so what i'm going to do is if we go to the overall ipr and um, let's see the overall specular here so the specular is by default um it's a default value if i change the overall color you can see how the specular is affecting the overall iridescent look so I can make this specular to something like a uh, magenta or something like that and you'll get that kind of look but instead having this what we are going to do is close this go to hypershade and from here if we go to our material 
we can add another thin fill and you get the same parameters here which you get in the overall stand surface thin film and I'm going to attach the instead of attaching this to the base color what we are going to do is attach this to the specular color and from here if I go back to my IPR now you have this kind of look so it looks pretty interesting I'm just going to go back to my overall HDR and just uh, let me just stop this increase a bit more intensity until I have a decent look all right so 0.5 seems pretty good let's add a 0.6 all right so we have a pretty bright scene here now Okay, so now we have this kind of look which is exactly how we want it. So you get a between look which is we want some of that grey to still look into the overall foil because we want that foily look and at the same time we want the overall iridescent look at the same time. So specular does sell out the whole effect here. So you have to understand you cannot just um, have this effect with the overall thin film. You just have to play around with the overall specular as well. So now if you'll notice you have the iridescent look around here and some of that gray tone shader around here as well so now you can create this kind of material uh, apart from that you can just play around with this make sure you don't make the whole metalness to a hundred percent which will just lose the whole effect so make sure you have everything should be in between values for this kind of effect and uh, the gray value should be a 50 percent gray as well you don't want it to be a too white you don't want it to be a too black you just want it to be just right so maybe like around uh, 0.2 I guess something like that whatever works so yeah this was it this was a pretty simple material pretty interesting material although so have fun with this play around with this if you have any question feel free to ask me and um, that's it if you create something out of it show me on my Instagram I love to see your work and that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video